Okay, homework 1.2. I'm not here, but I want to make sure if you have any question on any homework problem, it is here. You can scroll through the video. Convert to exponent form. Okay, this just means this is 12 to the one third power. That's what the cube root means. Okay, 12 to the one third power. Number two, x over the cube root of 7x. So this is x to the cube root of 7x. Okay. So this is x divided by 7x to the one-third. So we can simplify this a little bit further. This is x over 7 to the one-third, x to the one-third. It may help to think of what you have up here, x to the one. That's the same as three-thirds. That's what one is. Okay. So this is x to the three-thirds minus one-third over seven to the one-third. So this is x to the two-thirds over seven to the one-third. Number three, writing this in exponential form, okay? This is negative four. And on the bottom, you're gonna have 16 x cubed to the one-fourth power. So this is negative 4 over 16 to the one-fourth x to the, when you multiply those together, you get three-fourths. What is 16 to the one-fourth? The fourth root of 16. What number can you multiply four times and get a 16? So that's what 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 16. So the fourth root of 16 is 2. So this is negative 4 over 2x to the 3 fourths, which is just negative 2 over x to the 3 fourths. Number 4. This is 3. x squared, y to the negative 1. All of this is raised to the 1 seventh power. So this is 3 to the 1 seventh x to the 2 sevenths, y to the negative 1 seventh. To get rid of the negative exponents, this is 3 to the 1 seventh x to the 2 sevenths over y to the 1 seventh. Convert to radical form, leaving only positive exponents. This is the cube root of 7. The next one is the fifth root of y plus 3 cubed. You can write it that way, or you can write it fifth root y plus 3, all of that cubed, either way. So the fifth root of y plus 3 cubed. Uh, the next one, so the 2 is not being raised to any power. It's just along for the ride. So this is 2 times the cube root of x squared y minus 3. Um, and if I want this with no negative exponents, this is 2 times the cube root of x squared over y cubed. Now, I can simplify a little bit further than this. What is the cube root of y cubed? The cube root of y cubed is just y. So this is 2 cube root of x squared over y. Next one is going to be the square root. So the 2 doesn't have to be there. It's implied if it's not. So, But it's the square root of... 2y to the negative 2z cubed. Um, I can, what I can do here is just hold all of this out, cube it like this. So this is the square root of <clears throat> let me go back up here. I want to back up. It's probably easier here square root of this, let's just cube it here. 
So this is the square root of 2 cubed, which is 8, y to the negative 6, z cubed. Okay. So this is square root of 8, z cubed over y6. Make sure that that square root goes down all that far. Okay. So this is the square root of 8. Let's think of that as 4 times 2 z squared times z over what y squared y squared y squared the reason i do this is this helps me simplify what's the square root of four square root of four is two okay what's the square root of z squared that's z okay and then on the bottom what's the square root of y squared that's y square root of y squared is y so i've got three of those okay so i get two z over y cubed and then I'm left with the square root of 2z, uh, this left. Okay, a little bit more complicated, but this is simplified in radical form. Evaluate without a calculator. 16 to the 3 halves. This is the square root of 16 cubed. What's the square root of 16? That's 4. Cube that and you get 64. Okay, number 10, there's a negative that's stuck in front, but it's just there. Think of this, this is negative 1 times 16 to the 3 halves. The 16 is being raised to the 3 halves, not the negative 16. So this is the same as the problem before, it's just negative of square root of 16 cubed, which is negative of 4 cubed, which is negative 64. Cube root of negative 125. So cube root of negative 125. What number can you multiply three times and get negative 125? So that's what, 5 times 5 times 5? So it's actually negative 5, negative 5, negative 5. So this is, answer is negative 5. Okay, that's the number you can cube and get a negative 125. So the next one, so you've got a negative 3 fourths exponent on the bottom. So this is 81 to the 3 fourths divided by 1. So this is the fourth root of 81 cubed. What number can you multiply four times and get an 81? That's 3. 3 to the fourth is 81. So this is 3 cubed, which is... 27. 25 to the 3 halves. This is the square root of 25 cubed, which is 5 cubed, which is 125. Negative 25 to the 3 halves power. So this is the square root of negative 25 Cube. Now here's where we change gears a little bit from the first semester. We're restricting all of our answers to be real numbers. Okay, so in this case, did I say that? Well, yeah, so in this case, taking the square root of negative 25, this is not real. Okay, so this is not a real number. But you knew if this was last semester, square root of negative 25, that would be what, 5i cubed, which was going to be what, um, 125, negative 125i. But in this semester, we're not going to use the complex numbers. We're restricting ourselves to real numbers and real solutions. Let's look at the next one. Cube root of negative 64 to the fourth. Okay. So the cube root of negative 64, what number can you multiply three times and get a negative 64? That's negative 4. Because negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 equal negative 64. So this is negative 4 to the fourth, okay? And so that's negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. That should be 256. Negative 1 8 to the negative 2 thirds, okay? So negative 1 8 to the negative 2 thirds power. Well, I can think of this as 1 over negative 1 8 
to the two thirds. So this is one over, and this is the cube root of negative one eighth squared. What's the cube root of negative one eighth? What number can you multiply three times and get negative one eighth? That's negative one half, negative one half, negative one half, negative one half. So this is one over negative one half squared. What's negative one half squared? Negative one half times negative one half is one fourth. So this is one over one fourth, which is just four. Number 17, convert to radical form with no negative exponents. This is the square root of what? Four. Um, x squared y to the negative 1 cubed, which is just the square root of 4x squared over y cubed. Okay. Um, square root of 4 is 2. Square root of x squared is x. So this is 2x over the square root, what, 1 over the square root of y, all of that being cubed. Okay. Um, there are several forms. I probably would have taken, I might would have stopped here as a good answer, but this one, I mean, you can keep simplifying. This is going to be 2 cubed is 8, you know, 8x cubed, you know, 1 over the square root of y cubed. So there are several forms here of the way this would, would turn out. Number 18, convert to exponential form with no negative exponents. Okay, so this is going to be um, x squared y to the negative 2. All of that's being raised to the 1 third over x to the negative 3 y cubed. All of that's being raised to the 1 fourth. So this is x to the 2 thirds over y to the negative 2 thirds over x to the negative 3 fourths, y to the 3 fourths, okay? This is x to the 2 thirds minus negative 3 fourths, y to the negative 2 thirds minus 3 fourths, okay? This is a problem with fractions. So this is x to the 2 thirds plus three-fourths, y to the minus two-thirds, minus three-fourths, okay? So how do, how do, you, how do you add two-thirds and three-fourths, okay? Well, you multiply this by what? Four over four, and this gets multiplied by three over three. So this is eight-twelfths plus nine-twelfths, which is 17 twelfths. So this is x to the 17 twelfths, and then y. What is negative 2 thirds plus 3 fourths? So negative 2 thirds minus 3 fourths. That's the negative of 2 thirds plus 3 fourths. We just established that 2 thirds plus 3 fourths is 17 twelfths. So this is minus 17 over 12. Okay, guys, second semester, don't be afraid of fractions. They're going to be here, okay? So the last one here, um, evaluate this numerical expression without a calculator, okay? So what do I want to do? I look at this negative 2 here, okay? Well, what I can do is just copy down everything that I see with the reciprocal, and that's going to be squared. So I took care of that negative exponent right there, okay? So let's just go ahead and distribute that in. This is negative 5 to the negative 1 times 2. Okay. So negative 5 to the negative 1 times 2 over negative 1 squared. Okay. So this is negative 5 to the negative 2. Negative 1 squared is just 1. So this is negative 5 to the negative 2. So that's 1 over negative 5 squared, which is 1 over 25.